Hello, this is Daryl, 10 foot truck, good attitude services. Sorry about the talk of this guy. New tooth and uh, just kind of getting used to the tooth. Um, other than that, I just um, want to talk about uh, my last job I did was removing um, cardboard and some recyclables. And those are the best jobs um, because you can recycle everything and it's lightweight. <coughs> so <clears throat> whatever you can't recycle, but most of it is uh, you really don't have to pay, especially where I'm at. I live really close to the uh, recycling center where I can just remove all the cardboard and put it into the bins. Now the, the metal, I'll have to take that to a separate uh, recycling center. And uh, so I'll probably pack that up with more metal because you don't want to just take a light load of metal. You want to take a you know, full truck of metal. So I'm going to be doing that and I got to get rid of the rest of the stuff I've been having to sort out but the cardboard uh, jobs are easy and I like those and the thing is so many people now are um, buying all this stuff that's being shipped and whenever they're buying it, it you know even furniture or electronics or anything it all comes in a box at the store or it's getting shipped and like um, I remember I did a job years ago where I went to Ikea for the customer to purchase all of their furniture they, ju they had just moved and they pretty much left most of their furniture at their old house and they um, purchased all Ikea and they had me pick it up and bring it to their house and then assemble it all there. And they had a pretty big house, so it was a lot of assembly. I think, I don't even know, six to 7,000, oh, 6,000 square foot house, so I had to assemble all that. And then after, you know, assembling all their furniture, all their couches, you know, dressers, and even the library did all their they're shelving for the libraries. It took quite a while. I was left with all this box material and sort of styrofoam got thrown out with all the box material. And the guy uh, paid me to, you know, bring truckloads of that and uh, recycle it. And after the job was done, after all that assembly and moving all that stuff, he said, your best service was getting rid of that cardboard. So I was like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's your best service. <laughs> of course, I did a good job assembling all that, but. I think he had a good point because all that stuff piles up and it creates a big mess. And like the last job I did a few days ago was just a bunch of stuff they had bought and then of course all this cardboard and it takes up their whole garage. So in that case, that other job, it took up a lot of their house was full of cardboard downstairs, upstairs, every room had it. So I was, uh, took several truckloads on that job. This job is just, Part, part of a truckload, but uh, that's something to advertise, something to make aware, aware people that do buy, because I've done quite a few. They have a lot of box material from uh, their purchases, or their deliveries, and I mean their items. And um, they probably don't have time to drive down because you have to go to the, to the transfer station where they have the uh, bins. And uh, I live really close to that, so I can collect it all, organize it, and take a truckload there and just put in the bins. So it's more convenient for me. So I offer that service and uh, it's something that it's uh, easy, lightweight, not a lot of labor. Just uh, sometimes you have to cut the cardboard up to to get it so where it you know, stacks in your truck and then just take it all there. So you can fill your whole truck up with cardboard and it's not gonna be any weight. And then you can, you can either take it with other items and where I'm at, you go to the there's a garage where it has the bins for the the, the uh, cardboard. So you remove, you put that in the back, and all the other stuff up front. So you show up there and you, you remove all the cardboard and other things. I don't think I don't know if they take metal. They might. I'll have to ask because if they do, I'll take the metal too. Because I don't really care about going to the metal recyclers if I could just get rid of it. Uh, it's too much of a hassle. So uh, yeah, you remove all the cardboard in the bins, and then you go into the line, and then go into the where you do the, tr the dumping, the rest of the stuff. So you have a lighter load. You don't have to weigh it twice. You just get rid of the cardboard first, take your other items of the scales. And this is where I, where I live does that. I don't know if other areas does that, but you're able to do the recycling before you do the scales. So you go in, recycle, drive in, weighed, dump, come back, weigh it, and then leave. So I'm not sure if all the uh, recycling places, or, uh, transfer stations work that way but 
so it's pretty convenient so yeah that's a good service to add on your um advertise okay on you know i'm getting rid of cardboard any kind of material packing materials that are uh, left over i know a lot of people they try to advertise it on i've seen on craigslist they'll advertise uh when they move they'll advertise all their boxes for free and if no one picks them up then you can do a, a load for a remo for removal for them and make a little money and you don't have to worry about the dump fees but you can recycle it so it's a win-win situation anyway just wanted to talk about that did that and then uh yeah i had a few other jobs uh cancel which was unfortunate i had like uh, three jobs i think it was four jobs in a row canceled not sure why because i hadn't booked um so that was uh unfortunate so i'm having to catch up on that and get more jobs because i that last week i didn't get any i'm getting some this week and i'm trying to push a bunch of ads for next you know for next week and the weather's nice out it's going to be hot it's going to be 80s and 90s so it'd be a good time to uh get out there in the sun and do some work anyway that's about all i got uh got my new tooth too see that one was broken before that's a whole nother story i can talk about later uh doesn't have anything to do with the truck i'm moving but Years ago, I had my tooth broken out and I had it removed and I had to get this, it's like a flipper thing for the tooth to replace that. And then I'm gonna have to get an implant. I'm gonna get a, a ceramic implant eventually, I guess. I have to talk to a dentist about that. So I'm learning how to talk with this thing. Uh, it's not as easy as, as I thought, but it's good to have that tooth there. So uh, now I got all my tooth. Good attitude services. 10 foot truck have a great day have a great week and now it's coming up to the weekend so i hope you're really busy on the weekend because i hope i am too signing out good attitude services 10foottruck.com